Um, I think the biggest uh, memory was the first win here against Calgary, and uh, I think every win was, win was big. And uh, you came in that year, I didn't think it, you know, anyone knew what to expect, and uh, we were pretty competitive that year. You know, we lost, I think, 17 one-goal games, which was nice, and we had a great bunch of guys, and we had a lot of fun, you know, doing what we thought we could do best is win hockey games, and uh, I think we won 17. So uh, I think every game was a memory. But everything revolves around the guys, uh, the group of players that we had here. We knew we were uh, pretty much up against the wall in terms of talent versus teams like Pittsburgh and Detroit. So uh, what was really great was that we had a very great owner in George Gunn who didn't expect a lot of us and just tried to make us as comfortable as we could. And also we had George Kingston, who was probably the most laid-back coach in the National Hockey League. So it allowed us to concentrate on having fun and uh, the camaraderie that we had was just made for a pretty good season. Opening night was special. Uh, I still remember coming out on the ice with Brian Hayward and all the, you know, all the Sharks with Bob McGill. Jeez, and the name's just flooding back now. Just, uh, it was just a special night because all the growing pains we had trying to get equipment together, get ice, missed flights, charters, everything else just finally came together and to, to uh, have such a special opening night was, was really great. Some of the things that happened when uh, we were trying to win in Winnipeg one time and we couldn't touch down once, took off, touch down, took off. And finally the guy just said, you know, you guys want to win? And we all said, yeah, it was a charter. We dropped so hard that the ceiling panels were coming off the plane. And we still remember, we were just talking about this the other day, we were walking off, Brian Mullen goes to the pilot, he's giving us obligatory, good day, good day, have a good day. He says, well, can I just ask you whether we landed or were we shot down? <laughs> you know, and things like that. The fans here were incredible. I mean, to, to have the announcer telling people what an icy was and offside, you know, you're scratching your head, but these, these fans would applaud anything, it was great. And, and to see the, the merchandise, around the area, showed the support for, for the team and for the players. I'm sure it made the marketing department happy, but it, it gave the players a big lift to see all the, the sharp chomps, the power play, things that the fans would do. All the guys lived in Foster City. You know, we hadn't acclimated ourselves to the San Jose region yet because we played up here. But just coming up 101, you know, it almost gave you goosebumps to, you know, part of our life was here. We, we had a great time, even though we didn't win many games. 